Paddleboarding sucks. <laughs> Net Island. Paddleboarding sucks. <laughs> We've realized. I hate paddleboarding. We just spent like two and a half, three hours getting out to this island. There was a current in the boat. It was against us the entire time. And it's windy. It took us forever to do four miles. And now we have to do four miles back. Alright, so this is Emerald Bay. Our paddle boards are down there somewhere. We paddle boarded all the way across here and then around and back at a beach over there. It's a long paddle board. Here we are at the hangar, getting a little bit of a flight action after our day paddle boarding. It's really cool out here on Tahoe. Got this recommendation from the paddleboard shop we went to. Um, I have to admit, I was wrong. I do like paddle boarding. I think it's fun. With the current, it's With fun. the current and the wind behind your back, it's actually a pretty good time. Calm waters. Um, it's fine, so I take that back. Bones on pitch two of the surrealistic pillar at Lover's Leap. All right, here we are at the top of Surrealistic Pillar. We're in Lover's Leap, climbing. I just set up my anchor there. I'm about to belay Kristen up. Sitting on the top, you can see all those dikes in the granite, which is pretty sweet, indicative of this area and its style of climbing. So, pretty awesome climb. You can see kind of how those horizontal grooves in the rock make it pretty easy to climb. And we're in back to Tahoe for some mountain biking top of surrealistic pillar oh yeah you can see we followed up the face um coming coming right here in the crack and then traversed across under the arete and up to the summit up there so pretty awesome climb uh just hiking down now going back to the car well we do have the luxury of not working and uh doing <laughs> fun stuff during the weeks this is our friday night doing a bunch of laundry out here in Lake Tahoe and you know some people are out in the town we are cooking food for the next few days and doing some laundry so reality not too bad but that's where we're at this is our pre 25 mile mountain bike fuel up pancakes and breakfast burritos filled up our water or half an hour north and then go on 25 mile biking, mostly just single track and stuff on the Tahoe Rim Trail and Flume Trail to connect back here. Paddle boarding, climbing, and now some mountain biking. About to start the Tahoe Rim Trail. We start in this meadow and you can see Tahoe, Lake Tahoe is off in the distance. We're gonna ride all the way down close to the lake and then head another 12 miles head down 12 and another 12 back and around um, to where we park the car. Perfect day, some mountain biking, not too hot, which is nice, it's been super hot lately. Ready to do some technical riding. My NBA epic ride. Just 
getting through some of the easier parts of the trail here. Pretty epic views while mountain biking. That's Lake Tahoe. This is our trail on the way down. So just having a good time, having some uh having some fun. On we go. I think we're at mile six. Still riding. Close to 10 in. We're now on the flume trail from the Tahoe Rim. So I think they're connected, all part of the uh, International Bike Association EPIC certification for this trail. And we're about to hit three miles of uh, just straight up hill. I think it's up that thing in front of us. And then the next 14 or so are downhill. So there's Kristen having fun with Tahoe Rim action. And we're, uh, we're on our way. We are at the high point of our um, Tahoe Rim Trail loop. Guess what doing. It is beautiful. All right, in order to get water, as we're 12 miles in, is <laughs> Kristen hand pumping this well, cranking it. <laughs> Slightly elevated aluminum levels, but it's cold. <laughs> but we got water, so good stuff. We made it to Marlet Lake. We came from that hill over there between the trees. Woo! I'm just mellow riding right now. Back to the van, 25 miles later, we are here. It's good stuff, had a good time. Pretty fun riding, you know, it was pretty, uh, pretty sweet, not too technical, um, you know, going up and then coming down, but uh, awesome views of Lake Tahoe. You know, this is just where we dropped the car off. Rolling in. KB Smooth, as we call her. Making the final stretch back to the car. Finishing the 25 miles in style. There we go. Good stuff. Jordan's on the first pitch of East Crack at Lover's Loop. Going all the way up that crack. Okay, up at pitch two on East Crack. Came up that. Going up. You can't see because the sun. Alright, we're out here. The top of East Crack on the east wall at Lover's Leap. That's uh, Traveler's Buttress, the main wall area. And it just set up the final anchor on top of the climb. This is looking down and around. Good views of the main wall. And uh, it's good stuff out here. 